Yo, what is going on, everybody? D Pick here, Unfiltered Passion. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yo, thank you for joining me. Let me know how this new light setup is working for you. I'm just trying to play with, you know, some different things. Got these um, RGB light system just to kind of, you know, change the color background and that stuff, just to try to add some spice and variety to it. I don't know, let me know how it's going. But what we're gonna get into today, what we're getting into today is quick tips for shopping online with a company that you've never done business with before. All right, so, you're on Instagram, you're on TikTok, you're scrolling, you see a shirt, you see a hoodie, you see a jogger said something that, you know, really catches your eye. Price looks about right, everything looks about right with it, but the thing is you've never heard of this company before, you've never done business with this company before, and even some companies that you heard of, even some companies that you've, you know, friends have bought from, you got scammed. You know, the product either never came, the product didn't look like what you thought it was going to look like, um, and you know you had to send it back. You didn't get scammed in that situation, but you had to send it back. Or sometimes you just straight up got scammed, paid your money, and never got the product. So now, if you're a little bit like me, you're a little bit leery now of, okay, I don't know this company, I don't know this brand, so... I'm not going to do business with them, which, if we really think about it, is not really good because we are basically holding it against this company, which could be a great company, which could be a good company, which could be a reputable company. We have no idea of knowing. But because of our past experience, now we're taking it out on this new company. So will this solve all those problems? Absolutely not. But... You know, just some quick tips on just some things, some do's and some don'ts so that we can kind of avoid that bad situation, if that makes any sense. Um, so not in any particular order, but you know, first things first, if it's a company that you've never done business before, business with before, and you want to, you know, give them a shot, you know, first things first, look for a phone number contact the company. There's, listen, there's nothing wrong. You know what? This is, I don't care if it's $10 or $10,000. I always look for a phone number. Call them. Hey, how does your product fit? How long does it take to ship? Um, does it run small? Does it run big? I mean, ask any questions that you have um you know the color looks this way online you know is it really you know the same color as those yeezys that you know you have it within the picture ask any questions that you can i mean you're the customer you want to do business with them and you know to me if i have a bad experience with you if you're going to be nasty and rude when i call you then you know i'm not there's no need for us to do business because how can I expect, you know, I'm not even your customer yet. Um, we haven't even developed a business relationship yet. And if you're going to be like that, then, you know, there's plenty of other companies, plenty of other brands out here. But always look for a phone number first. Always, when in doubt, just contact them. You know, see how long it takes them to get back to you. Um, and I say this, this is, might just be my pet peeve. You know, I know there's DMs on Instagram and all that stuff. But me personally, I say call them, text them if you can, email them. DMs, like people's DMs be blowing up. Like I don't do business in DMs. And the only reason I personally don't run my business through DMs is because I pay a lot of money for a phone, a, a business phone number. So I'm, you know, I don't want to do business in DMs. I have a phone number, I have an email address, and I'm also getting ready to set up WhatsApp for business. So, I mean, you can DM if you want, but don't be surprised if they don't hit you back. I always say, call them, and if you can, even text message them, because I can actually receive text messages and stuff too. And they might have a WhatsApp for business, which actually lets you um, call them, text them, and it will actually let you video through there also, but contact them, number one. Um, look at the checkout process. I mean, not in, this is not in any order, so it doesn't have to necessarily be number two. Uh, the second one I wrote it down in, but look for a checkout process. Fam, it is the 21st century. If you have a website, 
if you are putting up ads on Instagram, putting up ads in Google, if you're putting up ads in TikTok, on YouTube, wherever you're putting up ads, if you got enough money to put up ads, if you got enough money to run a website, fam, you can have a checkout process. I'm not, I, I'm not DMing you. I'm not texting you. None of that. Either you're going to have, I think, number one, I think you should have a formal checkout process. PayPal. You pay after the fact. Uh, Stripe, you pay after the fact. There's no upfront cost. That's easy. I'm not with Cash App and none of that stuff. Anything where I have to, where I can't actually uh, contact someone and get my money back is not going to work. 21st century. Look for a checkout process. Also, look for the little padlock to make sure it is a secure website and that your information will not be picked up and stolen by someone else that's going to actually get another card and be running up stuff in Cambodia or Bolivia or, or Arkansas. You know what I mean? Just make sure that they're not, uh, that the website is secure and your information is, is encrypted. Um, look for shipping options. That's super important to me. Amazon has messed us all up. I want to know at least, I mean, I'm probably on the average website, I'm not going to get it within a day or two. But I want to know, is it coming USPS? Is it coming Postal Service? Is it coming UPS? Is it coming FedEx? Because right now, you know, sometimes, at least sometimes, Postal Service can be kind of slow, you know, and I want it by a certain date, which kind of goes back to the column, because if you want your item by a certain date, you need to make sure if I order today, will I get it by the, a day or two before my event, which, you know, again, goes into the contact and goes to the shipping so you know what you're dealing with. And also, um, I didn't actually write this down, a bonus one is start small. You know, don't buy the, don't buy seven items just buy maybe one t-shirt just to see you know if you like the shipping if you like the response you know because you're developing a relationship hoping an ongoing relationship so i definitely say that you should um you know start small if you're going to give them a shot um now for the don'ts really quick do not do not do not do not rely on celebrity endorsements, celebrity pitches. Do not, fam, bro. Celebrities get a lot of stuff for free. Celebrities, um, if they're not getting it for free, they're probably getting it for free and being paid at the same time. Don't, don't rely on celebrities for it. I mean, just, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe because you know the way I'm set up, I definitely didn't want to set up a Me Too brand, a Me Too clothing line, where we're necessarily doing everything everybody else did. So that might just be one of my pet peeves. But you know, you can't really necessarily rely on celebrities, and you cannot rely on influencers. Influencers, trust me, do normally. 10 times out of 10, or maybe nine and a half out of 10, they do not post anything for free. They give a lot of, even people on YouTube or anybody giving reviews, now they'll give their honest review, you know, uh, for the most part, but most times they are not receiving an item for free. Some, some of them will pay for the item and then give a review, and most times they'll say that at the beginning. Um, but most reviews and most times they're posting stuff, it's not for free. They were paid and they were compensated. It was a sponsored post, promoted post, whatever you want to call it. It's not for free. Do not rely on celebrities. Do not rely on the influencers. And, that's, and also, you can't always trust the customer reviews. I know that's... Um, Amazon's big claim to fame and a lot of websites have customer reviews. In my experience, think about it. Think about me and you. Do you always write a review after you receive the product? You ordered those sneakers, you ordered that shirt, it's the day before, two days before your event. Yo, it fits, it looks good. Don't you throw it on, get your outfit together and go do your event? How many times, honestly, honestly, how many times do you go back and write a review? The only time I write a review, and it's unfortunate, and I've tried to been try, I'm, I'm trying to get better with this. The only time I mostly write a review is when I'm upset. 
that's why sometimes you'll see more reviews bashing something because something went wrong in the process. Maybe the shipping took too long. Maybe it wasn't what the customer expected. And sometimes customers have un unrealistic expectations. But point, case in point is most reviews are written after someone is upset and a lot of reviews are written, they're, they're fake and they're paid and, you know, there's a bot doing it. So you can't always rely on reviews. Quick recap, 